I went in there hungry and I made bad choices. <laughs> Don't you judge me. <laughs> Hey y'all, it's me again, back with another daily vlog. How are you liking these? I'm sorry if I'm acting like a bitch. I just watched Jeffree Star and you know when you watch him you cannot not be a bitch. So, I am going to go to the dollar store because I'm poor as fuck. And I'm going to see if there's anything there that I need. Um, I, I, I would also like to go get something to eat because I'm kind of peckish. I realized that I was trying to use this as something of a stick that I can have on my camera at all times and hold the camera with, but I realized with my last vlog it made the camera extremely shaky. That holding it is actually a lot less shaky than just, than using this. This just like, I'm also contemplating right now whether I should put my contacts in or not. I think I should, because these things give me headaches. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do it. <sighs> there we go. Problem solved. This one has a tear in it. I don't know how I got the tear in it. I don't remember rubbing my eyes very vigorously, so... Huh. At least I'll be able to wear my sunglasses. I recognize that I probably don't look the greatest anyway, because um, my skin is pretty dull, and the reason for that is obviously my freckle tattoos cannot be scrubbed for a week and a half or so, and I'm not going to be able to actually exfoliate the dead skin off my face until early next week, which is, lucky for me, in about two days. And I think... Monday night, I'll be able to actually wash my face, and I'm going to be super happy about it. I'll even be able to wear sunscreen. Yay! I'll finally be able to wear fucking sunscreen. <laughs> um, I'll still carry this around, because I want to set my camera down every now and then, but, like, I'm not going to be doing that, because it was way too shaky. I don't know how to keep it stabilized. Where are these subscribers coming from? Thank you for subscribing, person. I think it's about time we get up and go, because I shouldn't just sit here checking out how many views my video... My, I tattooed my freckles video got because that's just unimportant. My grandmother used to buy this stuff for me when I was around 11 years old because uh, I was having allergies for like the first time in my entire life. Just imagine like when I was 11 I got used to spraying liquid up my nose. Should I try it again though? I have never seen an off-brand Pop-Tart in my life. I went in there hungry and I made bad choices. <laughs> Don't you judge me. <laughs> that was way too much sugar. In all seriousness though, what should I eat? I haven't been to the Staggering Ox in a while. Should I get a vertical taco? All I know is I'm hungry and since I moved away from this part of town, I haven't, I, I just forget what's here. <sighs> the fuck? <laughs> My hair looks terrible. There is like no available Wi-Fi in this building, which I know, first world problems. I wanted to show this thing off for a second. This is a clubfoot sandwich. It's vegetarian, obviously, because I can't eat anything else. But um, on the radio, they're advertised as vertical tacos. They're like the strangest way to put uh, a sandwich together, and it's really cool. And it's very unique. It's a very Montana thing. This one is the broken heart. It's got like artichoke hearts and stuff in it. It really is a lot of bread, though. And usually by the time you get to the bottom, it's just full of sauce. But it's still really good, so fuck it. Great, so now that I'm no longer starving half to death, I'm going to go find a place to do some schoolwork, because I really need to get caught up in math. This is the reason you don't go to a store hungry. Now I just don't want them. Um, in adults and children 6 to 12 years of age, with adult supervision, 2 to 3 sprays in each nostril, not more than every 10 to 12 hours. Shake well before use. <coughs> I think so. Oh, it's coming out. <sighs> so I'm gonna just leave this here because I'm not gonna have to use it again for another 10 hours. <sighs> now I'm gonna go to. I'm gonna go to the liquid. I decided to come home and leave my car here because I don't want to drive it downtown. Um, so I just figured it might be better to just ride my bike. Definitely healthier for me too. <sighs> Since I bought a thing of cookies I don't want to eat. So let's get to that. I am like super surprised. It hasn't even been five minutes and my nose is like super clear. Like I'm breathing through both nostrils right now. It's incredible. Fucking weird. Alright, so I'm getting on my bike in just a second to ride downtown to go to the coffee shop in hopes that one of them might be empty so I can get some homework done. 
And I'm wearing this mask as an extra preventative measure just to make sure that hopefully I don't get any more allergens up my nasal tract because of how uncomfortable it is. However, even though I have super clear sinuses at the present because um, of that spray, it's so fucking incredible. But um, since they're clear, I might be susceptible to getting more in there, so when this wears off, it'll be even worse. I am breathing better than I have in days. I'm so popular, I have to cover my face when I go out. pretty clear which is kind of awesome like more than kind of awesome it's like way fucking awesome and I'm really happy about that I got some school work done at Liquid Planet and then I rode around for a bit taking pictures until the Sun went down I wanted some ice cream but when I got to Big Dipper there was a huge line as always Big Dipper is like I think Missoula's most popular ice cream so it's always got a really long line and you must really want it if you're going to go there Anyway, I've got nothing else to vlog for the day, so I'm going to go, and I hope to see you guys tomorrow. I've got a few things going on. Um, the make fair is happening. I don't know if I'm going to go to that. And I'm going to the Garden of a Thousand Buddhas with my roommate. So that's going to be interesting. I'm going to pick out something to wear. So I'll see you tomorrow. Johnny.